Tributes continue to pour in for the victims of a triple homicide in southwest suburban Bolingbrook. The community there now getting ready for a candlelight vigil set for tonight. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos live in Bolingbrook where mourners will gather. Andrew. That's right, Joan Marie, and this uh, candlelight vigil is expected to start at 5.30 here on the grounds of the DuPage Township uh, Center. And it happens after days of mourning here in the community where those who knew the victims and those who didn't are still trying to wrap their heads around this tragedy. Only the sound of balloons blowing in the wind, part of a growing memorial, could be heard outside this home along 123 Lee Lane. It's the site where officials say a senseless crime unraveled Sunday night where 17-year-old Samaya Shelton, 40-year-old Cortez Daniels, and 9-year-old Sanaya Daniels were shot and killed. A fourth person not yet identified was also wounded and remains hospitalized. The suspect charged in the chilling case, 17-year-old Byron Montgomery, who police say was the boyfriend of victim Samaya Shelton. He has since pleaded not guilty to the charges. I mean, it scares me. As a mother, it's, it does scare me. But we live in a scary world right now. Bolingbrook Mayor Mary Alexander Basta, among the many in the community grieving the victims. She hopes the tragedy sheds light on identifying the root causes of violence, saying everyone should be focused on making sure a tragedy like this never happens again. They don't know how to compartmentalize. They don't know how to deal with issues. They can't um, multitask. So how do we address that? Among the many questions that still remain is the motive. The crime itself has puzzled many who know the suspect, neighbors describing him to CBS2 as polite and a nice boy. We can't continue to point fingers and point blame. We need to come together and say, what are the issues and how do we address them together? Now, today we learned from uh, one of the co-workers of the victims that the family was all set to go on a cruise in the coming weeks. It was something they were all looking forward to. And uh, tragically, they are now making plans for three funerals. We're going to have much more on this candlelight vigil coming up in the 6 o'clock hour. For now, we're live in Bolingbrook. I'm Andrew Ramos, CBS2 News. We'll see you then, Andrew. Thank you.